This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the membership support, we're able to bring content to each and every one of you. If you have a topic or a product you'd like us to review, or if you want to become a member, visit www.irrigatortech.com and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy the video. How you doing? This is Richard Daigle today with Irrigator Tech and what I want to show you is male adapters and how you install them in a one inch valve. So you normally have your Schedule 40 PVC right here. Okay, this is tapered a little bit and what you're normally going to do with this is you take some Teflon tape. Now how you put it on, this is going to be one inch Teflon tape. You're going to roll it in pushing your thumb so it's all put in and it grabs into the fitting. Usually they always say put in about two wraps. So I've got it all wrapped in there real nice. It's inside the threads really nice and that's going to make it so it doesn't leak. And then I'm going to turn it in and as I turn it in about right here I can feel it starting to grab because it's tapered in the inside. So what you want to do is get it where it's tapered in then take your regular channel locks and you can get maybe a little bit more turns on it. And that's about snugged up right there. You don't want to make it so it goes all the way to the end because then you put too much stress on the fitting. Now, you can use Schedule 80 the same way. So here it is here, Schedule 80, much thicker as you can see on the ends here. It's a much thicker material. You can use black, which is a Schedule 40, but it is a black material. And then you can use your push-on fitting as well. Now. The push-on fitting is much better to use because it's not tapered. So we still put the Teflon tape on it, which we'll get on here, nice wrap here. You're still going to put like two wraps in. I'm going to get it all snug in there. And then I would put this in. This is a three quarter inch, but then you would screw it in. This is straight through. So a lot of irrigation consultants and architects, instead of using a male adapter that's tapered that they can over tighten and that it's made to break right here under any kind of stress on the white, black, or any of them, right here you can see it kind of beveled. They use what they call is a toe nipple. So they'll go with a Schedule 80 nipple you can go with a short one. Oh, here's a nice little short one here. So you can go with a short one and then tape this in. So I'd put, of course, Teflon tape on this again. I would screw this in. Now it's straight through, Schedule 80. So you can just buy a Schedule 80 nipple, cut it to the size that you want, and now you won't have any stress because it's straight. It's not beveled. It's straight in. Then take a coupling, which it would be like this, slip by thread, and then you would glue this on. You could have slip, slip here, go right into the pipe with a coupling. Okay, so I got a Schedule 80 coupling, Schedule 80 nipple going right in, or I can go with a male adapter here and come in. But in case there's any kind of torquing on it or someone ran it over, it would tweak, it would break the male adapter here. No matter what name, doesn't matter what manufacturer, they're made, they break right here. That's the thinnest spot on any of the male adapters. But Schedule 80, it's going to be much stronger, straight through, no restriction on the flow. It's going to come straight out, straight out of there. And then I can make it any length I want before I 45 down. I'm going to put this here, or I can take a 45 and 45 it straight down out of the valve box and going right to the line. But if you just want to put a coupling or a ball valve, that's how you stick it in. Of course, this is on the downstream side, so you can do that on both sides. I just wanted to show you this. So what I wanted to show you today is that you can use Schedule 40 PVC, you can use Schedule 40 black material, you can use Schedule 80, or you can use your toe nipples by just buying at any of your local distributors a Schedule 80 nipple, cutting it in the desired length that you want, and have it come out and then put a coupling on it like this in Schedule 80 or Schedule 40 and then have it 45 down and then go out. The less 90s you use coming out of the valve box, the better. So even coming out, so if this valve box was here and then your pipe was right here, so let's just say your pipe's right here, then I would put a 45 to come down. Don't 90, 45 it so the water comes out 
hits the 45, comes out, goes straight to your sprinkler heads. Not a sharp 90 that would make it hit it, cavitation, the water spins, and then puts back pressure on the valve to wear the valve out a little bit, plus it puts a lot of stress on your fitting. So come with a coupling or come with a 45, come back down. So it was just a little tip for today on Schedule 40, Schedule 80 fittings on a one inch valve. Thank you, I appreciate your time. Make a comment on uh, our YouTube site and uh, make sure that you subscribe. Thanks a lot, we'll talk to you soon, bye.